Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday, we're back from vacation. We actually got back this morning a few hours ago. So I gotta get to these orders back here. We had a great weekend out of town. We spent three nights up north, get away from this crazy Arizona weather that we've been having and just had a nice relaxing weekend. Usually when we go and have a vacation, it's like Disneyland or somewhere where we just go, 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 go the whole day and you kind of get burnt out over four days and then you come home more tired than when you left. So this was nice just to have a nice relaxing weekend up at a small little Airbnb, just hung out, saw the local sites and, uh, you know, had some local foods and just enjoyed their nice, cool weather. The nights up there were like 64, 65 degrees. We're here in the Phoenix area. We're still at like 90 at night. So it was nice to sit outside, play some games and just spend some nice family time together. But now we're back and it's time to get back to the regular grind. So yeah, I gotta get the stuff shipped out. This weekend was actually pretty slow. I only sold seven items, but luckily there were some more expensive ones. So the total was $455.57. So yeah, the total was pretty good, but just the fact that, uh, yeah, it wasn't a whole lot of items. And luckily one of them sold this morning and that was the most expensive one to get that, to that total up there. Uh, so yeah, let's get going on this stuff. First, I sold the last one of these World Series baseballs that I had. This is a 2012 World Series baseball. It was won by the San Francisco Giants this year. And this ball sold for $15.99 plus shipping. Next, I had this Micro Machines carrying case. So yeah, this is a kind of a cool vintage Micro Machines case. Got a little semi look on the front. You open it up and you got a little storage case for your different Micro Machines, plus a little pad there to keep them in place. Has a little slide lock on the back. Kind of cool. I mean, it's scratched up, but you know, it's kind of to be expected from something that's over 20 years. Probably, let's see, it is dated 1990. Actually, it's 1988, so it's over 30 years old. And yeah, I ended up getting 1999 plus shipping. Next up, we got a couple of these Lego minifigure display cases. Uh, yeah, so these are actual Lego brand display cases. They do sell these in the Lego store. I think they're like $25 or $30 a piece. They're fairly expensive. Uh, picked these up at a store for, I think they were two bucks a piece. They were really cheap, uh, but they don't sell for a lot used. So I just bundled the two together and ended up getting $24.99 plus shipping. So a couple more packs of these Avery business cards, two packs to the same buyer. So that's good because I'm offering free shipping. So it's better when they get two together. When I ship one, I can get it into a padded flat rate mailer, but two of them I'll definitely have to go into a box. So it's probably gonna cost me $10 or so to get these two shipped out. Uh, but the two together went for, I think it's $48.75, is that what it says? No, $43.98, I know it was kind of an odd number. So yeah, about 44 bucks for the two of these and it's gonna cost me $10 to ship out. Now the last three were my best three sales of the weekend, all better price stuff. This here is this Pokemon figure. This is Machamp, or I think that's how it's pronounced right there. It has a little bit of a problem on the back. You can see this is kind of curling up right here. So the pa package was damaged, otherwise it's still new. Uh, when I bought this, I thought it was just gonna be like a $10 item until I looked it up. It wasn't, I didn't look it up in the store. I just knew for a few bucks, I was gonna be able to make a profit on it. Got it home, looked it up and found that these are pretty rare. Uh, if the package was newer, I could have got probably an extra $10, $15 more. As it is, I still got $49.99 plus five bucks for shipping. So yeah, it's pretty good when you think you might have a $10 item and you get home and you turn out that it's a $50 item. So it's always a good surprise. All right, the last two items. I'm not gonna take one, this one out. It's kind of a pain to get back in the box. This is a Harbor Lights Lighthouse figure. I had bought a bunch of these. It's probably been a couple years ago that I bought them all. Bought them all at one store, paid anywhere from like five to $10 a piece, $10 being the bigger ones here, and found out that the resale value on them is not real good. There's quite a few of them on eBay and the sell-through rate is pretty bad. So what I did is I sold off all the other ones I had at a garage sale for like five bucks a piece, just got rid of them. And I kept the biggest one that looked like it was gonna sell for the most to resell. And it still took well over a year to get this sold. Uh, but I did end up getting $79.99 with free shipping. It's packed pretty well in here. So what I'm going to do is just bubble wrap this a little more and put it into a bigger box. It's still going to cost me, you know, $10, $12, maybe even $14 to send out if it's going cross country. 
All right, here's the last and the best item that I sold. Luckily, this came in this morning. Otherwise, it would have been a pretty horrific uh, sales weekend. But this I picked up just a few weeks ago. I'm sure you saw it here on my channel. You've been watching. This is an autograph football signed by Larry Fitzgerald of the Cardinals right there. I bought this at a local auction, and I paid 60 or 65 bucks for it. I don't remember the exact price. I paid to get it authenticated because here's the authentication card from JSA. It's got the sticker on the football. So I have about 70 to $75 into it. And I had it in my store for $199 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $160 and I took it. So it so was $160 plus shipping. So $170. So after fees and everything, I'm probably making $75 to $80 on it. So I'm pretty happy that this sale worked out really well. All right, that's everything for sales. This is going to be a pretty short, quick video. Uh, one thing that I noticed yesterday, I'll pop the little pop up of my video I put out while I was on vacation. Uh, does it sort of look like I'm giving the double bird on this picture? Because I sort of thought it did. Thought it was kind of funny. I wasn't, but just kind of how it looked. Uh, put it down in the comments below. Did it look like I was flipping you all off? <laughs> all right. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.